welcome to testport india so this is our first class of logical reasoning in this session we will be uh, dealing with the arrangements and puzzles from basics and uh, we will solve almost every type of arrangement okay right from linear arrangement till the special cases like the parallel arrangements box floor based day based arrangements and so on okay let's get started with some basic concepts so if we consider a linear arrangement okay if we consider a linear arrangement we have some basic rules okay i think most of you are aware of these rules most of you are aware but i want to again uh, discuss with you about these these rules let me change this color first okay so if we consider linear arrangement we have two cases mainly two if not three okay we have three cases yeah the first case is the people people who are facing north direction okay north facing the second is south facing okay south facing and the third one is mixed okay both north and south facing okay so what is linear arrangement any arrangement which is in linear form linear in the sense which is in straight form so it can be horizontal arrangement it it can also be a vertical arrangement anything is uh, anything comes under linear arrangement okay so north facing if we consider north facing see this is north direction this is south this is east and this is west right so all are facing north okay all will face north this is a this is b this is c and d okay so who is right immediate right of c it's d d is the immediate right of c and who is immediate left of c b is to the immediate left of c right so in north facing the right side is this one right side and the left side is in the in this direction whereas in south facing okay uh, in in south facing we have a we have b we have c and we have d a b c and d okay so in south facing who is right to c immediate right to c b is immediate right to c who is immediate left to c d is to the immediate left to c so in south facing this is the left direction and this is the right direction okay so in mixed case we have both both one one is facing north one uh, one is facing south again north again north uh, south south okay so this is a this is b c d e and f okay who is to the right side of e okay who is to the right side of e see e is facing south right imagine you were e you are facing south so who is right side of e b d d is right side of e okay who is immediate left of uh, e immediate left of e it's f if you consider c who is immediate left of uh, c it's b b is immediate left of c who is immediate left of c b who is immediate right of c d understood so these are the differences and we will move on to the second case okay second case i mean uh, second type which is uh, circular arrangements okay we'll move on to circular arrangements circular circular arrangements right so in circular arrangements we also have case 1 and case 
right for case 1 and case 2 case 1 deals with all the members who are facing the center okay we also have case 3 but we shall first discuss case 1 and 2 so in case 2 we have all the people so this is the center right this is the center these are facing in case 2 away from the center okay people are facing away from the center they are not towards the center whereas in case 3 it is the combination of towards the center and away from the center right towards the center and away from the center let us name them a b c d okay here is a b c and d here a b c and d okay so in case one a is i mean all are towards the center facing the center okay their faces their faces are towards the center so who is uh, left of c who is left side of c immediate left d is immediate left to c and b is immediate right to c okay so if you consider in case one where all are towards the center towards the center okay the right side is in anti clockwise direction anti clockwise direction okay whereas the left side is the clockwise direction okay clockwise direction okay whereas in case 2 where all the people are away from the center so here b is there who is uh, left side of b immediate left to b a is immediate left to b and who is immediate right to b c is immediate right to b okay in case 2 left is in the anti clockwise direction okay and right is in clockwise direction okay this is uh, alter okay here in case one right is the right side is the anti clockwise direction here left side is the anti clockwise direction okay so in case 3 we have combination of uh, people facing the center okay facing the center and facing uh, away they are away from the center some are facing some are not facing the center and some are facing the center okay in this case a is away from the center whereas b is towards the center okay who is right side of b immediate right to b a is immediate right to b okay immediate right to b c is immediate left to b whereas consider a consider a who is immediate left of a d is immediate left of a okay who is immediate right of a b is immediate right of a right b is immediate right of a hope you understood the difference just imagine okay you have to just imagine to understand all these concepts okay just imagine we'll move on to the next slide so these are the types of basic types basic types of the puzzles and uh, arrangements first type is objects in a single row okay linear arrangement linear arrangements come under this category objects in two rows is the second type objects with closed shape so circular arrangements come under this category besides circular arrangements we also have triangular square rectangular and etc okay all types of closed shapes okay and and we have special arrangements and puzzles floor based day based box and floor based matrix parallel arrangements okay so these are extremely important as far as as far as iift is concerned as far as mhct is concerned so last year in 2019 okay last year iift we have one lift based problem lift based problem um, from this special arrangements okay and okay lift space is one set that's okay but there's a lot of scope okay that there's high probability that 
lots and lots of sets in the non cat exams appear from only these types okay any one of these types or some of these types okay not any one at least uh, three to four sets definitely appear okay so these are very important models and for cat you must prepare all of them of course we have group formation team formation and some other types of models but these are one of the models as far as logical reasoning is concerned okay but LRTI section of CAT is very very unpredictable very unpredictable no one can predict the structure or the type of uh, the arrangement or type of the set which will appear in CAT exam in LRDI okay so it is better to solve as many puzzles as many arrangements as possible to to at least clear the cutoff okay so let's let's move on to the next slide yeah just pause the video try to solve the question okay try to solve the set uh, this is the first type which is uh, objects in a single row this is the first type so pause the video and try to solve hope you solved hope you solved it's a very easy one so objects in a single row fine five flags okay five flags each with a distinct symbol namely panther tiger rose van and quail have been arranged in the following order okay five flags so we, we shall take this is this comes under linear arrangement so one two three four and five okay we can start five okay what is given still panther is next to quail and swan is next to rose okay panther is next to quail okay i uh, quail means q uh, p means panther okay and swan is next to rose so swan is next to rose so this is a one this is one pair this is the second pair okay this is the first pair and this is the second pair yeah and come to the second statement swan is not next to tiger okay after tiger swan shouldn't come okay tiger is on the extreme left hand side tiger is on the extreme left hand side so if we consider the direction this is the left hand side this is the right hand side and tiger is on the extreme left hand side so we can place tiger here okay and and rose is on the second position from the right hand side so this is the right hand side this is the first position of right hand side and this is the second position of right hand side so rose comes here okay and see see as we discussed r and s is one pair so this form r and s form a pair so here r is there so here s comes here q okay yeah here q and p so p comes immediately after q so we have only two vacancies left so we can directly place like this okay but we will we will uh, consider remaining statements whether this this one is correct or not um yeah panther and rose are together yes panther and rose are together that's fine panther is on the right right hand side of quail panther is on the right hand side of quail okay that is also correct and to the right side of tiger panther is to the right side of tiger yeah panther is there your tiger is there okay right side of tiger panther is to the right of tiger that's fine and and this this is this is important just uh, just two rules two rules in the linear arrangement take linear arrangement or circular arrangement anything but we have two rules most of the people most of the aspirants get confused between these two rules the first one is and and second one is two okay i will just uh, brief you with an example the difference between and and two uh, let us take the first first one m is to the m is to the 
right of right of q and second second to the left of r so m is to the right of q and second to the left of r here n refers to whom does n refer to q or does n refer to m so here m is the first person right first person and q is the second person okay so n refers to whom whom does n refer to n refers to first person okay so the literal meaning of this is m is to the right hands right hand uh, right of q and m is second to the left of r so n refers to the first person the similar kind of example the similar kind of example we shall take which is with uh, with who okay who we shall we shall take this example now m is to the left of d okay m is i will write it here m is to the left of d who is who is a uh, sitting between g and h okay who is sitting between g and h here who refers to whom does who refer to m or uh, does who refer to d so m is the first uh, person right so d is the second person hmm? so who refers to d in this case okay in the previous slide what happened and referred to the first person but here who refers to second person in any d in any lr set in any arrangement set if you observe who at any time who refers to the second person and refers to the first person and to the first person who refers to the second person please remember this um, this two uh, fundas okay if you get this wrong the entire set will be wrong definitely the entire set will be wrong or you will you will take uh, more time to solve to to correct the set okay in exam that that should that should be avoidable okay those kind of uh, minor errors so we shall move on to the next slide objects in two rows so this is uh, one basic example of objects in two rows just pause the video and uh, answer try to answer this okay just pause the video yeah hope you solve the video so solve the uh, set hope you solve this let's let's continue so there are two rows two rows of books in a library facing each other and each row has five books each row has one book one book each on chemist on physics chemistry economics history and mathematics so there are one two three four there are five books here each row and all the books are identical in dimension and at equal distances from their neighbors okay so equal distances so we will take row 1 and we will take row 2 okay equal distances 1 2 3 4 5 because we have five books right so we are taking five slots okay so the rows are uh, they call as row 1 and row 2 okay the following facts are known the economics book in row 2 is at a corner in row 2 the economics book is at a corner so economics book can either come here or it can also come here so instead of taking here we will take one more case what happened now one more case we will take this is uh, let me uh, let us name this case as one this is case 2 okay this is row 1 1 2 3 4 and 5 this one is row 2 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay so economics as economics is is here in this row 
we will consider economics to be in this corner now okay and uh, the in both the rows the economics book is next to the chemistry book further in both the rows the chemistry book is next to the physics book okay so in both the rows what happened economics book is next to chemistry book so chemistry book okay. economics book is next to chemistry book and further the chemistry book is next to the physics book so here if we take physics the physics the chemistry book is next to physics book so p c e is the order in which row in both the rows okay so let let us name uh, in in case two first as e is there so c p is the order and as e is there p c is the order p c e uh, before um, putting this i mean this in row 1 and row 1 in case 1 and 2 we shall move on to the third statement the physics book is the only book in either row to face its counterpart okay what's the counterpart counterpart is a book on the same subject okay so counterpart of physics in the sense p faces p physics faces physics okay so in in the physics book is the only book remember this only book in the either row to in either rows so in both the rows to face its counterpart okay so physics as physics is here and it must be here now and here physics is there here physics is there and remember this order p c e so p c and e so here here what is the order p c and why didn't we uh, place c and e here if we had placed c and e then c will also be a counterpart of c okay e will also be a counterpart of itself so we didn't face c and e here so we must face c and e here okay okay so um consider this state consider statement for the history book is as far as possible from its counterpart and only one pair of books on the same subject is as far not fur it's far as far as the two history books are okay so history book is as far as possible in both the rows i mean it must be as far as possible so um, we will extend the history book the, the the distance between two history books so if we place history here okay then to make it as far as possible to its counterpart i mean to the to its uh, uh, its pair history and history so one more history book must be here in this case in case two if it's if history is here then it must be here one more book must be here so it, it is in the maximum direction sorry maximum distance okay history is here and here there is history but we we left with one slot okay one slot we will fill the subject which is which which, which is uh, left the history is covered economics is covered chemistry is covered physics is covered mathematics is left okay so here mathematics comes and here mathematics comes we solve this so any case is possible first case is also possible second case is possible okay so both are valid see we are not solving the questions because framing the data is important framing the data is important we will solve the questions as we go to as we move to the upcoming lectures we will solve them okay but as of now as it is a basic uh, introductory video okay as far as la logical reasoning con is concerned we are solving only the puzzle we are not solving the questions okay so this is the arrangement so let's move on to the next slide so this is the next uh, arrangement of uh, objects in in the row in two rows okay objects in two rows the plan shows the plan shows an office block of uh, six offices a b c d e and f so 
so where is the plan yeah i will i will write it here i will write it here i will draw that okay Six offices. So this is not officers. This is offices. Okay. Six offices. Yeah. This is the entry. Okay. So the plan shows an office block for six offices A, B, C, D, E, and F. A, B, C, D, and F. Let me change this. Okay. Both B and C occupy. Okay, 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 okay. This is officers. Fine, fine. Okay. So, um, both B and C occupy offices, offices to the right of the corridor as one enters the office block. So as one enters like this, right side will be here and left side will be here, okay? As one enters, B and C occupy the offices to the right side. So B and C uh, will be the, on this side, okay? A occupies an office to the left of the corridor. So A occupies to the left of the corridor. A must be in on this side. E and F occupy office offices, offices on both on opposite sides but their offices do not face each other so e and f will be on opposite side if, if e is here f will be here if if f is here e will be here but e and f won't face each other so f f i mean e and f or e f so they won't face each other okay they won't face each other but they are in opposite sides okay um still 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 so as d left d will be here okay d a either e or f b c either f or e okay so let me draw one more one more one two three and one two three okay so f's office is further down the corridor than a's but on the same side E doesn't have corner office so E doesn't have corner office so E doesn't have corner office F's office is further down the corridor than A's but on the same side so F's office is further down the corridor than A's but on the same side so A and F must be on the same side so A D and F are on the same side and here b c and e on the are on the same side but one more condition is given e e doesn't have a corner office so e doesn't come here e also doesn't come here so e must be here okay e must be here so if e is here f shouldn't come here right f shouldn't come here and uh, the last statement also says that F's office is further down the corridor than A's. Okay, further down the corridor. Okay, the further down the corridor than A's. So if A is here, then F must be either here or here, further down the corridor. Okay, but we do not know the exact position as of now. Okay, and the offices of C and D face each other. C and D face each other. So let me clear this first. Okay. So here F's office is further down the corridor than A. So E is here. So F shouldn't be here. So F must be either here or here. But what is given here? F's office is further down the corridor than A's. So down the corridor means this is the downside. Okay. Oh, so we are entering here in this direction, right? So A must be either here or here. Okay. But F should be here because it is further down the corridor, right? 
so f is here this is confirmed confirmed and e is here this is confirmed okay still what is given so b and c the offices of c and d face each other okay so offices of c and d face each, each other so here it's already e e is there here so here f is there so if i place c here then d must be here but already f is there so the only pay the only place where uh, i must i can we can put c is here so that b will be here okay sorry d will be here c and d okay let me let me clear this let me clear this okay so c is here d is here e is here f is here still this is vacant okay so b must be here b must be here okay so this is vacant so a must be here okay so the final arrangement the final arrangement is d a f and c e b okay d a f and b e c okay let's let's move to the next slide objects in a closed shape so this is a cat 2002 question okay cat 2002 question it's a simple one it's a very simple one just uh, pause the video and try to solve there are six persons who are sitting who are sitting okay who are sitting around a round table okay we shall uh, draw a round table here a round table okay pankaj is sitting left of dayanand okay we shall mark six persons 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 5 6 okay whenever you place uh, the, uh, the places of persons take the opposite side okay if you place here again you you must uh, immediately take the opposite side because if the, these are in symmetrical positions i mean exactly opposite side there won't be any confusion okay so pankaj is sitting left of dayanand who is facing kundan okay as of now we can uh, take any statement which is that which is direct okay we can take any direct statement and put it okay pankaj is sitting left of dayanand pankaj is left of dayanand okay so pankaj and dayanand okay pankaj is left to dayanand who is facing kundan see here importance of who who refers to whom does who refer to dayanand or uh, does who refer to pankaj who refers to dayanand i told you right who refers to the second person and uh, and refers to first person here dayanand is the second person pankaj is the first person so dayanand is facing kundan dayanand is facing kundan k okay. okay so ranjan is sitting right of dayanand right of dayanand is ranjan yash is uh, sitting left of pankaj left of pankaj is yash okay uh, still 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 yash is sitting and abhishek is sitting right of ranjan abhishek is sitting right of ranjan here ranjan so abhishek will sit here okay if pankaj and ranjan swap their positions and yash and abhishek also swap their positions then who will be to the left of abhishek so swapping means interchanging okay interchange interchange means swap okay so uh, 
Pankaj and Ranjan swap their positions. Okay, Pankaj here, yeah. Okay, here Ranjan comes. Okay, instead of Pankaj and uh, instead of uh, Ranjan, Pankaj comes here. Okay, here Ranjan comes here. And uh, Yash and Abhishek. So instead of Yash, um, Abhishek comes here, and instead of Abhishek, Yash comes here. Okay, then who will be to the left of Abhishek? So Abhishek is there. Okay, the new uh, new arrangement. Abhishek is there. Who is the left of Abhishek? So Kundan is left of Abhishek. So answer is one. Answer is Kundan, right? So this is a very simple one. Um, so it's a previous uh, cat question. I mean, cat two thousand two. So let's move on to the next slide. So this is our second arrangement uh, as far as closed shapes are concerned. So try to solve this. Uh, pause the video and try to solve this. Okay. So four Indians, four Indians N, B, J, and R, and uh, four four Americans. Okay. Four Americans, A, T, M, and S, are sitting around a circular table. Two Indians and two Americans are facing the center, while the rest four persons have their backs towards the center. That means facing away from the center. Okay, so you need to figure out the exact where uh, they they are sit, sit they are sitting by considering the following statements. J is sitting at the second position to the left of him. Okay, we will we will get back to get back to this. Uh, we will draw the arrangement now. So this is a circle, right? This is the circle. Let me let me change the color here. Okay. So we have four persons. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Four are Indians and four are Americans. Total eight, right? So consider statement three. N is the third person to the right of R who is facing the center. So N is to the third person. Uh, N is the third person to the right of R. So if we, um, so R who is facing the center. So here, who refers to R, the second person? So R is facing the center. So if we place R here, okay. If we place R, this is the center, right? He is facing the center. He is towards the center, right? So if R is here, N is the third person. So first, second, and third. So N must be here, okay? So third step, third uh, statement is ruled out completely, okay? And uh, we shall move on to the sixth sixth statement, which is M is not sitting next to R. Okay, M is not sitting next to R. So next to R, that means M shouldn't be here. M also shouldn't be here, right? So this is ruled out completely. And uh, we shall move on to the fourth statement now. B and S are sitting at diametrically opposite positions and facing each other. None of them is, is sitting next to R or A. Okay, so B and S are sitting diametrically opposite positions and facing each other. None of them is sitting next to R or A. So next to r so b shouldn't come here right so next to r b neither uh, b nor s must must be sitting right so b shouldn't come here b shouldn't come here and the only way that b and s must be diametrically opposite is these two positions okay in these two positions they will be diametrically opposite if we place uh, B here or S here, then they will be sitting immediately next to R. So, which is not possible. It shouldn't be the case, right? So, B will be here and S will be here, right? So, 
B and S are sitting at diametrically opposite positions and facing each other. Facing, they are facing each other. That means facing the center. They are facing each other, right? If B comes here, S will definitely come here. If B comes here, yes will yes will come here right yes comes here okay so a must be facing r a is see none of them is sitting next to r or a right mm. so if none of them is uh, sitting next to r or a then a shouldn't come here because already n is there okay here a shouldn't come here so the only place which is left is a, uh, a for only place which is left for a is this one which is opposite to a opposite to r why because here what is the condition b and s so none of uh, b and s none of them is sitting next to r or a so next to b r shouldn't come and s shouldn't come next to s r shouldn't come and uh, a shouldn't come so this is the only place for a in which this condition satisfies so option uh, the statement 4 is completely ruled out now uh, m must be next to a okay if, as m is not sitting next to r okay so m shouldn't come here m shouldn't come here either so here either b or s will be there here n is there here a is there so m must be here this is the only place for m so a is fixed uh, r is fixed right so b and s n is fixed n is also fixed so b and s so we will look into this now so b and s where is the relevant statement now yeah consider the fifth statement no three americans are sitting together okay so m as we uh, in the in the description what is given n indians who are indians indians are n b j and r right and who are Americans? Americans are A, T, M and S. Okay. So here R is, who is R? R is an Indian. Okay. R is an Indian. Here A is an American. Okay. A is an American. And N, N is an Indian. Right. N is an Indian. Okay. So, M is an American. M is also an American. So, here what is the statement? No three Americans. See, consider statement 5. No three Americans are sitting together. So, here A is an American. B, M, M is also one, uh, one more American. So, out of B and, B and S, here in this, in this place, uh, one American shouldn't be there because... Americans, three Americans in a row, okay, in a line, um, I mean, three Americans uh, shouldn't sit together. So, which one is American here, B or S? Yes is an American, okay. So, yes, yes uh, shouldn't come here, okay, yes shouldn't come here. So, B will take this position and uh, yes will take this position, right. So S is an Indian, B is, so S is, sorry, American, and B is Indian, okay? See, why we interchange the position, why we uh, change, I uh, mean, why B came here is, consider a statement 5, no three Americans are sitting together. If S were here, who is an American 
then a m and s all the three are americans okay so no three americans are sitting together so b must be i mean here only indian must come in order to in order not to violate this statement right so this is the arrangement and uh, j is sitting at the second position to the left of m so consider statement 1 j is sitting at the second position to the left of m who is left of m j is sitting to the second position to the left of m so where is j so this is the only place where we can put j here okay j why because j is sitting second to the position second position to the left of m so here if we consider m j will be left to m unless j won't be left to m unless it is away from the center see if m is away from the center then left side first left of m is b and second left of m is j so m must be away from the center right and and still a is sitting at the third position to left of t see consider this a is sitting at third position to the left of t where is a here a is sitting third from left of t so here t m already appeared there uh, so t will be here so a is sitting third uh, to left of t so t must be away from the center because if t is away from the center then a will be third left the first left second left and third left okay which is a right so r is an indian p is an indian n is an indian so one more indian must be figured out m a s are americans so one more american must be figured out right so t we have to find t and j j is nationality right so j is j must be an indian and t must be an american see why we have taken t as american and j as indian is that it is given that two indians and two americans see two indians and two americans are facing the center of the table okay here here already we have two indians who are b and r facing the center of the table and two americans who are facing the center who are the who are facing the center s is facing the center and a is also facing the center right a is also facing the center so two americans and two indians already faced the center so j and t must be they must be away from the center because the remaining four while the rest four members have their backs towards the center that means remaining all must be away from the center right i know it bit it's a little bit clumsy here but just try it once let's move on to the next slide yeah floor based arrangement very important very important for iift and mhcet right very important and other exams also but most important for these two floor based just pause the video and try to solve so akil abhi john vijay sachin dhoni sushant 
couple live on different floors of a eight story building in no particular order the floors are numbered 1 1 to 8 okay so we shall take eight floors here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay yeah so uh, we shall consider statement 4 so exactly five persons live above sushant okay exactly how many persons live five persons live above sushant yeah so uh, five persons live above sushant so this is first second third fourth and fifth so sushant comes here Shushant comes here because if Shushant comes here, then there will be exactly five persons above Shushant. This is the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Okay, so this is figured out, this is ruled out completely. We shall move on to statement one exactly one person lives between Sushant and Akil. Sushant and Akil. So uh, Akil can be here, Akil can be here. Akil can also be here because there is one person exactly in between Sushant and Akil. Okay, but consider statement 5 again. Um, Akil doesn't live on the first floor, so Akil won't come here. Akil comes here. Okay, so Akil comes here. Akil comes here. Okay, fine. So this is ruled out. Fifth statement is ruled out. So consider statement 6 here. Kapil doesn't live on the 7th floor. So Kapil doesn't come here. Okay. Kapil doesn't come here. And consider 8th eighth, eighth statement. Kapil doesn't live on an even numbered floor. Okay. Even number floor. So 8 is even. So Kapil doesn't live here. 6 is even. Kapil doesn't live here. 4. So Kapil doesn't live here. 2. So couple doesn't live here because all are even right so the only place the only floor where couple lives is 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 the first floor couple comes here because every all are even and uh, here in statement um, in statement 6 it is given that couple doesn't live on seventh floor and remaining all are even and also occupied by Akil Sushant. So one is the only floor which is vacant for Kapil. Okay. Right. So we shall move on to statement three. Akil lives at a lower floor as compared to Doni. Okay. So Akil lives a uh, lower floor as compared to Doni. So Doni must be above Akil. So Dhoni must be in either 8 or 7 or 6th uh, floor. But if we consider statement uh, 9, John lives at a higher floor as compared to Dhoni. So John comes here and Dhoni here. So John lives higher floor as compared to Dhoni. And if we compare statement uh, 7, if we take statement 7, John lives, okay, this is lives, sorry. L I V E S. So John lives immediately above Vijay. So John lives immediately above Vijay. So Vijay must come here. Okay, Vijay must come here. John is here. So Dhoni is here. Okay. So Dhoni will be here. Vijay is here. And John will be here. Okay. Because uh, John lives immediately above Vijay. Right. And uh, here Dhoni here Akil lives at a lower floor as compared to Dhoni so Akil lives at lower floor as compared to Dhoni so this statement is also clear right so still uh, fourth floor and second floor are vacant so consider statement 2 again 
Abhi, Abhi and uh, Dhoni do not have a gap of more than two floors between them. Okay, so Abhi and Dhoni do not have a gap of more than two floors between them. So Abhi must be in the fourth fourth floor. Okay, Abhi must be in the fourth floor because Abhi and Dhoni do not have gap of more than two floors. So if I if I place abhi here then there will be more than two floors gap three floors gap okay there will be three floors gap which shouldn't happen which violates this statement so abhi must be here and which one is remaining what is remaining still sachin is remaining so sachin we will place here right so this is the arrangement day based arrangement yes day based arrangement super important for MHCET okay for IAFT IAFT for SNAP for for other uh, non-CAT exams okay six plays are to be held from Monday to Sunday six plays are to be held from Monday to Sunday so Monday Tuesday Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Okay. We have seven days, but six plays are to be held from Monday to Sunday. One play each day with one day when there is no no play. Okay, no play. Okay. No play days are not Monday and Sunday. No play day is is not Monday and Sunday. So here no play doesn't come okay this is a play day and sunday also it's a play day so no play doesn't come yeah the plays are held in the set of three plays each in such a way that three plays are held without any break so three plays are held in a set without any break so here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is one pair. Friday, Saturday, Sunday is one more pair. Because if I take Thursday, Friday, Saturday as one more pair, then I must uh, make a day uh, as a uh, no play day. So if uh, Sunday will be vacant, no. So if I if Sunday is vacant, if, and if I if I shouldn't make no play day on Sunday because clear that no play day is not on Monday and Sunday. So Thursday will be the no play day. This is the remaining day. Okay. Thursday will be the no play day. Right. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is one set. Friday, Saturday, Sunday is one more set. If we consider a statement two, which is play Z is held on 26th and play X is held on 31st of the same month. Play B was not held immediately after play A. Okay. So statement also says that, the last statement also says that all the six plays were held in the same month. Okay. So as uh, as there are six play, play days, six play days, when one no play day, we will make the schedule from 25th to 31st of the month. So Monday will be 25th, Tuesday will be 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, Saturday will be 30th and Sunday will be 31st, right? Sunday will be 31st, okay? Statement 2 says uh, play Z is held on 26th, right? Play Z is held on 26th. Play Z is held on 26th and Play X is held on 31st. Play X is held on 31st. Okay. So Z is on 26th, X is on 31st. And statement 3 says that Play M was held immediately before Q. So Play M was held immediately before Q. That means M must be on 29th and Q on 30th. Right? 
so m was held immediately before q before q m was held so m must be on 29th m must be on 29th and q must be on 30th why because m was held immediately before q okay before q m was held and consider statement 2 here play b was not held immediately after play a play b was not immediate after, immediately after play a so if i play which means that play a comes first and play b comes later right so play a will be on 25th and play b will be on 27th why because play b was not held immediately after play a not immediately after okay immediately after so here uh, in between a and b z is there so that's not a problem so a comes first b comes next not immediately right so this is the arrangement and thursday is the no play day right thursday is the no play day so the next type is box and floor based arrangement so just pause the video and try to solve this yeah so there are seven persons e f h j k n and p living on a seven floor building but not necessarily in the same order yeah ground floor is numbered as first floor and above it numbered as a second floor and so on till topmost floor which is numbered as seventh floor each of them likes different cold drinks limka coke sprite fanta mazza pepsi and slice but not necessarily in the same order right so we shall take three floors okay seven seven persons in seven floors this is floor person and cold drink okay seventh floor sixth floor fifth fourth third floor second floor and first floor right 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 yeah so what is given here the ones who like right who like fanta and slice live on first floor and seventh floor respectively so on first floor the one the ones who like fanta okay so the guy who likes fanta lives on the first floor so the guy who likes fanta this guy lives on the first floor so fanta comes here and slice the guy who likes slice lives on the seventh floor so here slice comes and n lives on third floor so where is third floor yeah so n lives here and the ones who like coke and pepsi live on adjacent floors so adjacent can be either pepsi and coke or coke and pepsi as well right adjacent adjacent means one after the other either this case or this one either pepsi and coke or coke and pepsi okay k likes k likes maza so just we will take this as a reference in future k likes maza right so only one person only one person okay j doesn't like slice okay j doesn't come here right j doesn't uh, come here as he doesn't like slice 
so this is ruled out j doesn't like slides yeah so only one person lives between e and f who likes coke so only one person or uh, between e and f only one person lives between e and f who likes coke so here pepsi coke and pepsi see what is given here only one person lives between e and f who likes coke right so f likes coke here so we consider this the, the same arrangement okay it can be either pepsi or coke or coke and uh, coke and pepsi and coke or coke and pepsi right so but here what is given only one person lives between e and f who likes coke so here who refers to f who doesn't refer to e right so who here refers to f so we we should mention f here right as f likes coke the one who likes pepsi lives just above h who likes sprite right so it can be f coke f coke pepsi and sprite sprite comes here i will write it here again so coke is liked by f pepsi why because the one who likes pepsi just uh, lives just above h who likes sprite so h likes sprite right so sprite is liked by h in which the one who likes pepsi lives just above h okay so this guy who li who likes pepsi lives just above h J that means just above sprite okay just above sprite and uh, still only one person lives between e and f right so only one person lives between e and f so if f is here then there will be one person here and e will be here because e cannot come here right so there is one person between between f and e so e there will be one person and f so this is the order and uh, more than one person lives be between the ones who like limka and fanta so if we put h in fourth floor right if we put h in fourth floor so what happens the floors won't be sufficient right see if we put h here then it will be 1 2 3 only 3 three, three floors are there but we we have we must have if h is here we must have this is 1 2 3 4 because above h there is one vacant uh, the, this this vacant place is there because we don't know this guy but this guy likes pepsi above pepsi the guy who, uh, f who likes uh, coke above f there will be one uh, vacant uh, one person we don't know him but there will be one person and above that person we have e so how many places are there 1 2 3 and 4 but if we place h here we have only 1 2 3 places so h must come in second floor right h must live in second floor so here sprite comes because h likes sprite right so this guy will be n and n likes pepsi n likes pepsi and above this guy that means above n will be f the same arrangement so f likes coke and above f there is one vacant uh, place i mean vacant in the sense as of now we do not know uh, who is this guy so let us uh, leave this as of now and above this guy e lives because 
between e and f there is one vacant uh, one one guy uh, will be there between e and f so e comes here just above this one so and j doesn't come here so if j doesn't come here j either comes here or either comes here right but in this case we have considered k k likes maza so k cannot come here because if k comes here then k must like fanta but k likes maza so the only place where we can insert k and bo k and maza is in fifth floor right so k comes in the fifth floor k likes maza okay so what is the remaining one so j doesn't like slice and j won't be in seventh floor so if j is not in seventh floor so j will be in the first floor right and what is the remaining one e is filled f is filled h is filled j is completed k n where is n yeah n is in third uh, third floor and p so p is remaining one so p comes here so p likes slice right so the one cold drink which is left limka right so limka will be placed here in sixth floor so j doesn't come here p comes here let's move on to the next slide so this is a matrix based arrangement this uh, this is a cat or uh, 2002 question okay so uh, the banerjees the shermas and the rajputs each have a tradition of eating sunday lunch as a family each family serves a special meal at a certain time of day each family has a particular set of china ware used only for this meal and use the following clues right so we shall make the box right so this is the name of the family this is the time okay and the china ware and dish okay dish so let me change the color okay so the sharma family eats at noon okay the sharma family sharma's family eats at noon noon in the sense 12 pm okay 12 pm um next the family that eats see consider statement 7 the family that eats last that eats last likes makkal ki roti okay so there are two families one is shema's family banerjee's family and the rajput's family so the family which eats last that means which eats at 12 to 1 1 to 2 2 o'clock okay likes which dish makkal ki roti okay so why we have taken 2 o'clock as the last slot will be because if you consider fifth and third statements the family that eats at 1 o'clock serves fried brinjal and the banerjee's family eats at 2 o'clock right so banerjee's family banerjee's family eats at 2 o'clock and sharma's family eats at 12 o'clock so the remaining is the remaining time is 1 o'clock 1 pm right so the fried the family that eats at 1 o'clock serves fried brinjal so this is the fifth statement the family the one more family the what is the family which is left 
Rajput's family. So Rajput's family comes here. Uh, Rajput's family, so the family that eats at 1 o'clock, okay, serves fried brinjal. So this is fried uh, brinjal, okay. And the only dish which is left is, what is the only dish which is left? Sambar, yeah, sambar is the only dish left, okay. So, fourth, uh, consider fourth statement, the family that serves sambar doesn't uh, use red china ware. So, Sherma's family doesn't use uh, red china ware. Okay. So, the family that serves fried brinjal uses blue china ware. Fried brinjal is served by Rajput's family. So, Rajput's family use, Rajput's family uses uh, blue china ware. Blue china ware right so uh, sherma's family doesn't use red china ware so Banerjee's family must use the red china ware okay red china ware and what is the one more china ware which, which is left white china ware see the rajput's family doesn't use white china ware so rajput's family doesn't use white china ware so sherma's family must use the white china ware white china ware so this is a simple, uh, this is an easy set, okay. So pause the video and uh, try to solve, solve the set. Okay, let's solve it. Eight friends, J, K, P, Z, C, B, D and G have decided to do the lunch in a restaurant. They have seated on two parallel rows, each having five seats. Okay, so we will we will uh, draw two parallel rows, each having five seats. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Each row has one vacant seat, but two vacant seats are not opposite to each other. Okay, so each row has one vacant seat, but two vacant seats are not opposite to each other, right? Not opposite. Not opposite. P, C, Z and D sit in row 1. So this is row 1 and this is row 2. So P, C, Z and D sit in row 1, whereas Z, K, Z, Z, K, G and B sit in row 2 and face uh, north direction. The uh, row 2 members face north direction and row 1 members face south direction. Okay, so it is given face south direction. Okay, they like different colors, blue, green, gray, black, red, yellow, white and pink, but do not necessarily in the same order. Okay. So consider this, the one who likes grey sits second right of G, but both do not sit at extreme end. Okay, so neither G nor the, nor the one who likes grey shouldn't be in the extreme end. So they shouldn't be either here or here. So G must be here and the grey color, the guy who likes grey is second right of G. So as all, all the members are facing north, second direction, second means this is the first right of G and this is the second right of G. So grey, the man who likes uh, grey color will be, will be here. Okay. Still what is given? The one who faces the one who likes grey, okay, the one who faces the one who likes grey sits immediate left of the vacant seat of row 1. So, who faces grey in row 1? This guy. This guy faces grey color in row 1. And sits, this guy sits immediate left of vacant seat of row 1. So this guy sits immediate left of row 1. Which one is immediate left of row 1? I mean, if I place vacant seat here, 
okay vacant seat here so the vacant the, the immediate left of vacant seat is this one because all the row one um, persons all the row one people are towards they are facing towards south direction they are they are facing south so vacant the left side the immediate left of vacant seat is this one right so and what is given here again it's also given that the the one who faces the vacant seat of row 2 is c who likes yellow okay and p sits third right of c oh if i place vac uh, if i place c here if i place c here then what happens is p sits third right of c right p sits third right of c so c is here and p should sit third right this is the first right of c second right and third right of c so p should come here right why because all are towards the south direction so right side in the sense you must move like this this is the right side of row one so as c is here p is third right to c this is the first right this is the second right and this is the third side third right okay and it is given that c likes a low right c c likes c who likes a low so here who refers to c so c likes a low okay and still what is there there is only one person sits between vacant seat of row 2 and j okay so vacant seat of row 2 so this is vacant seat vacant seat of row 2 why because here the one who faces the vacant seat of row 2 is c see it's given here the one who faces the vacant seat of row 2 is c so as c is here the vacant seat will be here okay and in the next one it is given that there is only one person who sits between vacant seat of row 2 and j so what is vacant seat uh, vacant and it's also given that there is only one person who sits between vacant seat of row 2 and j so this is vacant seat of row 2 okay and uh, if j is here okay then there will be one person here because if i place j j here then there will be more than one person who is who is uh, who, who is sitting between these two so j must be here okay so that there will be only one in between the vacant seat of row 2 and j okay and the one who who likes blue is immediate neighbor of the one who like who faces p right okay let me erase this first The one who likes blue is immediate neighbor of the one who faces P. So, which one faces P here? G faces P. So, the one who likes blue is immediate neighbor of the one who faces P. So, uh, blue 
द वन हु लाइक्स ब्लू मस्ट बी हियर दिस इज ब्लू ओके द वन हु लाइक्स ग्रीन फेस इज द वन हु लाइक्स ब्लू ओके सो द वन हु लाइक्स ग्रीन मस्ट फेस द वन हु लाइक्स ब्लू हियर दिस गाय लाइक्स ब्लू सो ग्रीन मस्ट बी हियर बिकॉज दे आर फेसिंग ईच अदर राइट ओके so j won't like blue because j faces a vacant seat okay and k doesn't like blue k doesn't like blue j uh, z doesn't like green so k doesn't come here k doesn't come here if k doesn't come here k k must come here here which one is the remaining one b so b must come here right so b g j k is the order and z uh, which z will be to the immediate right of c right so z will be to the immediate right of c so as this is c the immediate right is this one so here z will be there so z will be here okay and what is remaining c is filled okay c this one is c so c is filled z is filled p is filled and this one must be d this one is d and the one who likes white faces vacant seat of row 1 so where is vacant seat of row 1 this is vacant seat right so the one who likes a white faces vacant seat of row 1 so j must be j must like white color okay j must like white color and the one who likes pink sits second to the one who likes red so the one who likes pink sits second to the right of one who likes red um so so consider row 1 so if we consider row 1 p is second right p is second to right of z see p is second to right of z right so p likes pink z likes red so p likes pink and z likes red okay and what's the remaining what is left g so z likes z must like black right so once again solve this okay even though you solve uh, this at one go you must uh, it is advised to resolve it again okay so so in the upcoming slides upcoming videos we will be looking into some more problems some more uh, logical reasoning sets after that after law arrangement and puzzle problems okay we will be solving group based uh, group and team formation and according to the schedule we will be solving that right so thank you very much and all the very best thank you